don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiawe. Today, we're going to talk about an interesting topic here. Thomas Ate Party. His transfer saga still continues and Arsenal are not relenting. They will be happy by this news. However, Thomas Party, according to the Telegraph, has said that he wants the move to the Premier League and the move to Arsenal. More details coming up today. Also, Thomas Party is taking with him. Arsenal are ready to let go of four players and i'll be revealing those four players to you in order to secure the services of thomas Tepati should tell you how important it is for them to secure his services also we'll be talking about the captaincy issue who is the best black stars captain ever in history after some revelations by joe ado and over the weekend former black stars player he played with Abedi Pele and the likes. He mentioned some few sacrifices Abedi Pele used to make for the national team. And it looks like Abedi Pele was really someone who was hated for no reason in particular. People did not really know the things he did for the national team. So because of that, I ran a poll on who Ghanaians think is the Black Star, best Black Stars captain ever. And I'll be reading to you some of the thoughts, your thoughts in the polls that I ran on Twitter and as well here on youtube as usual if you're new to the channel i advise you to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell to get more updates so we all know thomas Tepati, the hot cake of ghana football right now the hot cake of european football right now many clubs are looking to snap him up and arsenal are among the top contenders to take him away from the stadium Metropolitano and it looks like Thomas Partey has said as much that he's interested in that move to Arsenal according to the Telegraph Thomas Partey has told close people around him that he is ready for a premiership move and most likely next season he might not be in Spain any longer many people are saying that when Thomas Partey moves to Arsenal he might not be able to win any trophy whatsoever well that remains to be seen but Arsenal are keen on signing him and are even ready to let four players go now according to the story Atletico Madrid midfielder has made it clear he would like to move to Arsenal and is hoping the deal can be struck between the two clubs now the Ghana international who is 26 year old told those close to him that his ambitions of proving himself in the Premier League with a move to the Emirates Stadium. He was high on the list of targets for Mikel Arteta before football shut down due to the coronavirus pandemic. And the move will hinge on whether Arsenal can structure a deal. They have asked players to take wage cuts to cope with the impact of COVID-19 and are unlikely to spend heavily. Partey has a release clause of around 45 million pounds and Atletico are braced for approaches but also have an interest in Arsenal striker Alexandre Lacazette. Now the Spanish club are among those in Europe who will continue swap deals in a market where less cash is to make deals and Lacazette is among one of the four players I'll be revealing to you today who might be included in the deal to send Thomas Partey to Arsenal and it's quite surprising that Arsenal would be likely to involve all these four players but that's the speculation going around he's likely to join Arsenal because these players will also move to the other side as Atletico Madrid are interested and I've said already in Alexander Lacazette now the Gunners are ready to offload a quartet of their stars and have been name checked they have been name checked as potential summer departures in order to fund a move for highly rated midfielder Thomas Partey now the international who is 26 year old developed into a consistent and dynamic all-round performer under Simeone over the past three seasons. Rumors of a switch to North London began to swell in April, with one report suggesting the Ghanaians were one step away from securing the Ghanaian signature. A release clause reported to be around £45 million mark wouldn't appear to be overly expensive in the modern era and climate. But due to the uncertainty over football's finances due to the coronavirus pandemic, the Ghanaians may have to be creative in the transfer window. Online publication Football London 
believes that to be the case with an outlet listing four stars who could depart in one form or another to facilitate the arrival of former party the first in a swap deal is center forward alexander lacazette who have let go madrid have shown interest in Diego's diego simeone was close to signing him in 2017 but the deal failed to materialize after the club succumbed to a transfer ban relating to the signing of minors the second and third options would be in the form of Matteo Guendouzi and Granite Shaka. Guendouzi had impressed under former boss in Emery but unexpectedly fell down the pecking order since Mikel Arteta's arrival in December. And the final person in that list is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And the controversial one that is is Aubameyang. Now the Gabon International has been in Paris since his arrival from Borussia Dortmund in 2018. But with just one year remaining on his current Arsenal deal, Arsenal faced the very real possibility of having to make a difficult decision over his future in North London. It looks like something of a wrong that happened to with Robin Van Persie in his switch to Manchester United in 2012 and has suggested that the club reportedly pulled the plug on their efforts to convince Aubameyang to extend his stay. So Thomas' party to Arsenal is quite heating up nicely and it looks like that deal might still fall through Thomas third party I don't know what you guys think about this but let me know your thoughts in the comments box those four players if you're a Ghana's fan start leaving Gwen Doze, Granit Xhaka, Pierre Medico Bamiyang and also Alexandre Lacazette are they really worth it is Thomas party worth that amount of players being gone for them to facilitate the move is thomas party really worth it let me know your thoughts in the comments box i move on to my next final story it has to do with who the black best black stars captain has been over the years in your opinion i ran a poll on my twitter handle as well as on here on youtube and a lot of people overwhelmingly voted for steven up here now this poll i ran because over the weekend a former player of the ghana black star squad in 1992 when abedi pele and co were at the helm of affairs he said that abedi pele the sacrifices he made for the national team during his playing time were so immense and the hate abedi pele suffered was not something that he thought should have persisted now he revealed as much that abedi pele used to pay their fees for them he used to pay their bonuses for them they didn't take their bonuses they shared it amongst the rest of the team they even gave them money before they even went for the tournament and he is saying here that abedi pele was an immense player according to some people on social media which i read a few couple of information i read it was said that abedi pele really was not liked because he was a north man how true that is it's up for debate and that was the consensus i was getting on social media but whichever way you like it it looks like steven tornado appear was the best captain in the opinion of most Ghanaians. Joe Addo says Abedi Pele did a lot for them, but Tornado Apia will be remembered for leading the country to its first ever World Cup in 2006. That is the overwhelming reason most of you gave it. I tend to agree with that. Tornado Apia has done a lot for the national team. We know at Samoajan's time, many people did not vote for Samoajan because they said around his time, there was a lot of turmoil and uncertainty with so many players looking out for more money than actually playing for the national team. But, well, you can't really blame the players. The promises that were made to them were not fulfilled and the sacrifices they were making in this modern era would not be going for free. But So, that I would not blame them 100%. But overwhelmingly, many people are saying that Steven Tornado Apia is the best captain in the era of the black stars as far as we can remember let me know your thoughts if you're a senior citizen if you are someone who has been living for over 50 years and you think differently because we were not there in the beginning stages of the black stars maybe there was someone greater than steven tornado up here leading the black stars to the first ever world cup and also spearheading a squad that was really talented multi-talented black star squad that's possibly should have won a trophy in terms of the afcon 
well it didn't happen unfortunately and we have to work harder in the next time so that has been it for today tornado appear voted overwhelmingly as the best black stars captain do you agree with that also thomas party to arsenal heating up nicely he has made it clear that he wants to move to the Ghanas to the Emirates Stadium and he has made it clear to Atletico Madrid who are looking to broker a deal and that might involve Alexander Lacazette along with three other players Gwendozi, Granit Shaka and Pierre-Emerick Obamaya. Your thoughts in the comments box as an Arsenal fan is Thomas Partey worth these four players? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.